out of three, problem 72 says choose the large atom in each pair. So our, pair, our four pairs are SN and SI, BR and GA, SN. Let's stop this I so we can tell what it is. SN and BI. SE and SN. So we're going to use our trends in our periodic table. This is a rough drawing of our periodic table, focusing on only the main group elements for this trend. Atomic radius increases as we go down because each time we're adding an outer energy level, making the distance from the nucleus larger and larger. So as we go down, it increases. And then as we move to the left, it also increases. And this is because there are less electrons added to the outer energy level as you move from right to left, decreasing the effective nuclear charge. Therefore, the atom is allowed to, is able to be larger and larger apart. So if we follow this trend, we just want to figure out what's furthest to the left and further is down based on the periodic table. So first we have Sn and Si. Looking at our periodic table, we can find Sn here and Si here. But we know that further down has a larger atomic radius, meaning that it's a larger atom. So in this case, our answer is Sn. Let's try it again with Br and Ga. BR is located here, GA is located here. Further to the left, again, means that the atomic radius is increasing. So GA would be the correct answer for the second one. Now we're gonna look at SN and BI. If we refer to our periodic table, SN is located here at 50, and BI is located here at 83. Now this one's kind of tricky because SN is one further to the left than in the left group, and but BI is lower down. Because BI is lower, that means it has a larger, uh, another energy level on the outside. So we're gonna select BI as being, having the greater atomic radius, even though it's very close between BI and SN. Lastly, we're gonna look at SE located here and SN located here. SN is further to the left and it's further down. Therefore, it's gonna have a larger atomic radius.